Windows XP Ultimate Edition. Now, I never actually tried this, so I installed the operating system already, but I never actually tried it out. So, if I can find VMware, okay, there, there it is. So let's go into VMware now. And as you can see, I already got, I already got a virtual machine set up. So we're gonna power this on in three, two, one. And let's go into full screen. So this is not a real edition of Windows XP by Microsoft. This is actually a custom OS that someone actually made. I don't know who, but I'd like to give that shout out to whoever, whoever made this. I got this on gettingtopc.com, like I normally would. And wow, this actually looks like Windows 7. It even has a Windows 7 startup sound. And yo, we got some new icons. And whoa, a sidebar. Wow. I'm shocked right now. So far, this is actually looking pretty good. I mean, all the icons here have changed. I want to see what the start menu looks like. Yep, looks the same. So, what we have right here is uh, is Opera as our main browser because IE is no longer supported. <clears throat> and we got everything that's the same. So, what we're going to do here is watch a YouTube video on here. And hopefully it can handle 4K. Okay, so let's try to get this video up and running. I press skip ad. Wait, it's going in 4K? Okay, it's a little laggy. I'm noticing like a l Oh my god, it's, it's really laggy. Let's just crank this down to 1080p. Is it working? Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. So, now what I want to do here is see if I can go to my Twitter account. How fast can I go to my Twitter? At MLucario2017. Want to follow me there? Go right ahead. I'm MLucar at MLucario2017. Well, the number at the end will change year by year. Ah, uh, here we are. And whoa, whoa, that actually is quite fast. Um, as you can see, I did another concept for the iPhone 8. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on on this concept that I made. I mean, I I've been on the leaks of it, and I've been seeing in a lot of renders, and I think I'm close to the real deal. Wow, yeah, so we're gonna check out a download speed. So what I wanna do is go to Oracle VM Virtual Box and click right here. I'm using the touch screen cause cause the computer that I am running this on is a touch screen. So we're gonna download Virtual Box 5.1, select Windows Hosts. Okay, a little bit, a little bit delay there, but I'm sure it's, it'll manage. Probably gonna do a VM section since I am running this inside of a virtual machine right now. What if I was, I were able to run a virtual machine in here? Probably get a, um, a stock version of XP or something on there. So I could do an XP set, an X. XP Inception. Is that how you say it? I'm trying to follow this Inception internet trend. Where it's like something inside something inside something. Okay, I see it. Oh, I'm just trying to open this up. You know what? I'm just gonna. Oh! Oh, hello. There we go. And, it's only, and I just realized it even has the Windows 7 cursor. So it's like an it's like Windows 7 crossed XP. But this is actually really Windows XP. 
in all seriousness though. Let me show you. As we go into Winver. Yep, Windows XP version 5.1. That's that's the version number. Oh, and K, here we go. Please just a second. Now this is more like it. So what I need to do next is get an XP ISO. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I just grab one off of the DVD drive in the virtual one? I don't. I don't know. So we're gonna create. Oh, come on. Opera. Close. Opera. Okay. So we're gonna type in Windows XP. Now we're gonna click next. Create a virtual hard drive, virtual hard disk with 10 gigabytes. Let me try and see what I have. Is this in the? Is this in the D drive? Oh, so I gotta insert the DVD. So what I need to do is go to the settings and then use the ISO image file. So then we go into downloads and we're gonna click this. And no, I don't want no, I don't want to install it. So let's see what happens. So we're gonna click start. Come on. Okay, what's going on? Okay, it's it says it's starting. Oh, oh, there it is. So, and what happens? Okay, so while I'm doing this VMwareception. Not VMware Subsection, I mean VM Subsection. We're going to be doing a couple tasks, such as going to Windows, well, local disk Windows, and we need to scroll down to System32. I can't do the trackpad swiping down thing. Okay, System32. Let's see. O O B. B. Images. And let's see, title, title. Ah, right, here we are, title. And let's see what this is. What the? What is that? I don't know. Hopefully I didn't get a copyright claim for that. So now I want to play one of my favorite games of all time, 3D Pinball. I'm I remember using this to play this game back in the day. It was so cool. I've adjusted the controller to my personal likings and let's do this in 3 2 1. I'll be ready for anything. Oh, oh. Oh, here we Whoa, oh. Oh. Oh, oh there's Ari, you and me, let's go. Let go. Oh. Oh. You know. You know what? What what are you doing? Oh come on! Okay, just one more round, and then we'll close this, and we'll check on how the VM inside this VM is installing. How is it doing on ins on installation? Oh, for my slow ball! Oh, it's gonna be dropped. Oh yeah. Oh. Yo. No. Okay, so let's check on how the VM is doing. Oh, okay. Just 
just gonna type in Lucario. Just be on my merry way. Of course. And I realized this is actually a cracked version. Meaning that it's already pre-activated. It provides you with a product key already. Which I think is kind of neat. You know? I mean, with all these extra features, this is totally free. You can get it on gettingtopc.com. Link to this will be in the description below. And 32 minutes... Oh, now 31 minutes remain on the installation. I'm not going to make you guys wait for this. So, once it's done, I will... I will record a testing of it okay so thanks to this the, the virtual machine is getting pretty laggy why don't we just send why don't we just abort this VMception you know just in case okay so I can't get the VMception to work but I think we can do a Windows version inside this version that I know will work on any so this is an, so this is Windows 93.net. Here we go. Which I know we will it will be able to install on here. Storage ready. Okay, so wow, this is actually running pretty snappy on XP right here. What is Skype? Are you not? No, I'll do the calculator. Hmm, this actually is pretty snappy. I wonder what the what if is. Um, okay. And let's do another. Let's do another virtual machine. Let's do this ultimate VM session. Oh, here we go. Whoa, yeah, we're we're doing this good here. Okay, yeah, it's a little laggy, but I don't care. No one cares. This is this is just a simulator. Oh wow, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, this is amazing. This is so amazing. I can't even tell you. So my final thoughts on Windows XP Ultimate: Should you use it in 2017? Yes, for three reasons. It's pre-activated. You don't need to pay for it because it's on gettingtopc.com. And it has all the cool new features. If you did like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, subscribe to become an official Lucario Knight. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as Multimedia Lucario. Snapchat as Lucario4489. DeviantR as, Lu as Multimedia Lucario2166. And on me versus Lucari Mario 448. You can also visit my website at kabonamandysmg 4wixsitecom slash multimedia Lucario, where you can find videos, merch, music, and more. And until next time, peace out, Lucario Knights!